Okay, this one is about using a floor diffuser and a ceiling return air. And we'll see how the airflow works on this one. We've got a wall here with a window in it. The air is going to tend to go up. Now it's being assisted in going up by its heat uh, in addition to the uh, uh, pressure of the air. So as this comes up, this is going to cool as it comes by the window and the wall because there's going to be heat loss there. So it starts to cool. Now it's still going to go up towards the ceiling because the air pressure is going to push it up. It is cooler so that the heat is not going to be pushing it quite so hard. Also, you're going to see air flow this way because of the negative pressure at the return air. And so as it moves across, it's actually going to try to move warm air across the, uh, the lower part of the room, going up as it gets closer to the return. Now, this may seem like a pretty good way to do this. I actually don't think it's the best, but it does, it does work. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm showing a ceiling uh, diffuser, and we tended to have a cold area down here. Well, this isn't going to be so much that way because it's going to tend to draw the warm air that comes out of the duct uh, more or less along the floor. Not completely. It's going up, and we've got an area here that we're not showing any real airflow at all. Because this would be an inside wall, it may not be a big issue, and it may work fairly well. Uh, also, it's going to take this heat off of the ceiling. What, uh, whatever heat makes it up to the ceiling and has stratified with a high temperature here and a low temperature there, uh, it's going to pull it back in the return and keep it moving. So this one's not too bad for the northern climates. This one actually would work fairly well. Uh, probably not the absolute best, but I think this would work. And that's it on that one.